What's up guys? Alright, here we go. It is August something. Um, archery opens tomorrow. I'm excited. We just made the long drive. We had a few stops to make on the way down and uh, it's about midday right now. We are where we're gonna go. I just uh, threw a couple bottles of water and uh, the SD cards in the uh, bandit, this uh, everybody stock bandit, this little pack. We're gonna run in, check our cards real quick, get back to the truck, and then get geared up to get on a point, and we're gonna glass this evening before bed, and uh, hopefully between trail cameras and what we see glass, and we'll decide what we're gonna do in the morning, if we're gonna be in a ground blind, or if we're gonna be trying to put a spot and stock on, so we'll find out. See you guys in a bit, here we go. Opening day, baby. Archery, Utah. See you in a bit. All right, guys, we are uh, we're ready to go. We just got done uh, putting camp. Well, we finished camp a little bit ago, but we just got done putting our pack together. We got everything right there, ready to go. All I gotta do now in the morning is throw some water in that pouch, throw my bino harness, and grab my bow. And then the tote in the case will go in the back of the truck. So, back up real quick, kind of show you camp. So we got the canvas cutter on the cot. This is what we're living out of for the next, um, I don't know, like three and a half weeks. Clear till September something. Yay. <laughs> So, I'm really not sure what time it is. I'm gonna guess probably 10 o'clock. So I'm gonna get in bed so I can get up early. I wanna be on the mountain well before sunlight so I can kinda dry off from sweating. But we'll see you guys in the morning and uh, hopefully we'll be showing you a big deer. Here we go. All right, good morning guys. Here we go. It is, uh, it's been about 45 minutes at the opening morning. Right now we've, we've seen quite a few deer. Handful of bucks, one nice or decent buck. They got down here feeding, um, but nothing we're looking for yet for opening morning. So we're gonna pack up from our little perch we got going right here. And uh, relocate. And sit behind the glass and just look at as much country as we can until we find the deer we want to start hunting. See you guys in a little bit. All right, so it's getting later afternoon. I think before my phone died, it was like 6.30. Pretty much just been held up in the shade all day, just glassing. Our eyeballs are actually starting to hurt. Haven't really seen much, it's hot. It's been really, really hot and dry. I'm, I'm glad the wind's blowing, but I need some deer to take advantage of that wind blowing. Cause right now all it's really doing is making it hard for me to glass. <sighs> Opening day so far, we've seen a handful of bucks. One, okay one from this morning, but that's it, nothing else. Looking for one specific deer. And I don't know if 
he's alive still nothing on my trail cameras those marinated all winter long nothing on after I changed them and re-upped them back in June second week of June when me and Britt come down and did the strip um, I put new batteries set my ground blind everything and uh, still no no buck I'm trying to it's been a, just mess with my head all day I'm just trying to decide how to go about this if we don't see him or turn him up probably by it's Saturday now Monday then during the day we're going shed hunting and we'll shed hunt Monday and Tuesday and probably Wednesday and see if we can't find his dead head so I'm really, really trying to decide, do I find another deer or I just keep hunting this deer? With no knowledge of him being alive or not. Last year it was kind of the same boat. He showed up, um, showed up on the cameras closer to the end of the archery hunt. And then after that we pretty much were able to turn him up every day until the late rifle hunt. So it's playing with my head, is he a deer that's moving in? based on what's going on or is he um is he dead <laughs> so just got everything kind of laid out right around me got my kool-aid that's why my lips are red singles love these things yeah so we're going to stay here tonight and see what comes out as soon as the sun starts setting and it cools off a little bit. Last night there wasn't much moving at all. We didn't really glass anything up. I got a doe and that was it. My phone's dead because I've been pretty much catching up on uh, <laughs> Game of Thrones <laughs> all day. It's been so hot there's just not been much movement. And this country's so thick, if you don't know what you're looking for, or if you don't know what you're hunting, you can't find it. You can't hunt it. You can't just go walking around here. But, it's hunting. See you guys uh, here in a little bit. Hopefully, um, next time you see me, I'm going to be like, guys, we found him. And we're going after him. Or, we found him and we're going to try to find him again in the morning. Because there's no time. That's what I hate about the evening hunts. There's just not enough time for spot and stock archery hunting in the evening hunts. By the time they stand up and show themselves, it's so late in the evening that you just don't have a lot of time. So, Alright guys, see you in a bit. Alright guys, we are back to camp, just sitting back, relaxing, listening to some music, cooking some dinner. We got dogs and some, uh, uh, what is it, or teriyaki or oriental rice or whatever, 
right there and some dogs. We're gonna put the dogs in that and one mill done. Getting rehydrated. But, wow, that's bright. So, uh, different point in the morning to gloss off of. We've seen right at last, I mean right at the last bit of light, we've seen three bucks. And one of them is one of the bucks I have on trail camera. He's got a big frame on him, but he's just, he's screwy. I'll show you guys trail cam pick from right here, somewhere, right in here. But, yeah, so I turned him up, but not the buck we're looking for, so. New point, new glass. Another full moon tonight. It's awesome and it's hot. So. All right, see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning guys, so the sun's climbing in the sky. I haven't seen our buck yet at all. <laughs> the sun, I keep acting like I, I know he's here, but I really don't. He could come in later in the hunt. I just, I don't know. He's driving me crazy though. Is he dead or is he alive? Um, Saw a decent four. It's actually the four that I saw opening morning. And he had two little, little bucks with him, but that's it so far. We're gonna pack up all our stuff here. And uh, move spots. See if we can't get a different angle, different view, different country. I don't know. Just keep picking it apart.
What's up guys? Alright, we are back to camp. It's like, I think it's 10 o'clock at night right now. Uh, one thing we did today in the middle of the day was we moved camps. We got reset up. Oh, dropping the camera. Got the canvas cutter over there, ready to go. Let's see if I can focus this here. Doing some chicken patties tonight. I've got uh, some tropical fruit. I'm gonna open a can of that and uh, get back in bed. <laughs> Feels like that's all I've been doing lately is hiking out, eating something, going to bed. Waking up, hiking in, being gone all day. Hiking out, eating something, going to bed. <laughs> So, all right, though, we got some George playing in the background tonight, and uh, we're gonna relax, look over Google Earth, and make a plan. Try to find this buck. The way it's going right now, it might just be a shed hunt. Come next hunt, it's too damn hot. I've tried. Every time I start hiking, trying to look, I just want to die. It's hot, so. Yeah, been pretty uneventful so far. I apologize, but it's the way it goes when you hunt mule deer in August with a bow. Especially big mule deer. So. See you guys in the morning. Thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah. Alright, I'm going to do a little uh, pack swap real quick. Right now, I've been running the pack frame with the bat wings. Um, but I'm going to want... To, I think I want to try a little bit more room because I'm going to bring more glass with me up on the hill and uh, an extra tripod so I want to be able to stuff that in something I don't want to just strap it to it so we're going to put this pack and this is the little big top just got this one haven't even tried it out yet So, pretty stoked to uh, see what we can do. This is supposed to pretty much just take the straps off and it'll bolt right to this frame. So, I'll get everything off my frame real quick and then uh, we'll look at it. Alright, so that's what we got right there. It's the frame with the bat wings and they're zipped together right now. But we're going to put the little big top on this frame and see how we like it this evening that way I can carry a few more items well that was uh, <laughs> that's pretty badass so basically all you do I just tuck everything in everything's tucked in on the pack I just see how I I uh, just kind of reclicked everything together kind of wove all the straps together set it on there and then zip it up the side I haven't done this side yet but it took uh, about 10 seconds to get it all lined up and zipped. That's about it. That's pretty cool. And uh, it's not a big ordeal to change packs. Right on. I'll take everything out of that and put it in this and we're done. And uh, we're going to get back on the mountain and glass all day long. Look for this deer. See you in a bit.
this job. <laughs> and so we'll, uh, we'll keep touch and hopefully I'll have something that'll come by and we can video for you guys. If not, this is pretty much how all day long has been going. Just sitting here quietly to myself. See you guys all. What up guys? Alright, we have finished the 13A archery hunt guiding. Um, Philip took that stud stud buck. We got that all processed. Um, got it down in the freezer and then he packed up camp last night and uh, I decided to pack up mine too and I went and camped with TJ and Hit and uh, Rick last night and Philip got on the road about, it was about 10, 11 o'clock at night. And so I said, I'm just going to stay out there and camp. Camp, stayed the night, got up early this morning, drove to town from the strip, um, got some groceries, some ice, did some laundry, and then we are now up on the hill looking for my buck. I've got, I don't know, i got a bunch of days. Hopefully I can get this done. No, and then... Tell you guys more when I get back. I'm gonna hopefully get this deer turned up and uh, maybe even get a stock in. I don't know, we'll see, but I'll talk to you more later. Bye. Alright, guys, Wednesday has come to an end and we haven't seen him since Saturday night. I have pretty much just stayed on the mountain all day today, besides moving camp this morning after. That spot was a complete bust. Didn't see a single deer at all this morning. Actually, I didn't see a deer until about three o'clock today. Had uh, the three point that was with him earlier in the season stand up and just decided to start feeding. And then another little three by four stood up about 15 minutes later, but didn't see him. We just got back to camp. Figured I'd show you guys kind of the setup real quick. We're burning some dogs right there real quick. We have a couple sticks of cheese, fruit cocktail, and then we're getting into bed. Pretty nice sleeping in there. Last night was the first night because of the wind. And uh, up until the sunset, it was gonna be the same thing tonight. The wind has been howling pretty much all day long. I mean, all day long. It's made glassing a nightmare. My eyes hurt, my head hurts. The sinuses are in full alert right now. Just from breathing all the dust. I mean, all day long, it was like, it's like glassing in really heavy smoke or not really heavy, but a good constant like wildfire smoke and uh, pretty much like having I don't know. <laughs> I'll leave that one alone. But just super, super shaky. I mean, it was super shaky. No matter what I did, I hung stuff from the tripod. I tried that. Uh, I finally just started digging me out spots underneath cedar trees to kind of break it up. I was limited to what I could look at as opposed to being out on a point, but I just moved a lot. I had three beds pretty much today that I would go bounce through in a, a sequence just to kind of make sure I could see all the country and then see at different angles. But dogs are burnt. I'm tired. I'm burnt. So we're gonna eat, call the wifey and the kids, and then we're gonna get in bed and start it again tomorrow. We got we got a day and a morning left, unfortunately. So oh well, we're gonna get him killed tomorrow. Tomorrow's the day, I can feel it. We just need to find him. If we can find him, I'm gonna kill him. So We'll see you guys tomorrow. What's up guys? All right, we are on the last day. We just finished the morning hunt. It's about 12.30 right now. 
We packed back to camp here to uh, make something to eat. I've been eating big, really big lunches and then just skipping out on dinner because it's late enough when I get back that I'm just, I get in bed so I can be up early. So I've kind of been, like I said, eating pretty heavy at lunch. Today, we got the water boiling. We're getting ready to boil. So we can pour that on some ramen noodle. Then we got some Spam in the oil and a burrito. And uh, we're going to make some coffee too. So. Oh, and we're eating some cheese sticks. we really been loving that knife that I got as a gift from Everly Stock and uh, Buck Knives. It's just, the, I just love it. It's, it's a great knife. It's easy to stay sharp, which for me I need because I do not know how to sharpen a knife. So I got to use the cheating, the cheating tools. And a lot of the times those will ruin a knife. So you got to be careful. Get that burrito flipped over so we can get that meat that's coming out of the center nice and crunchy. Man, guys, hunting the biggest deer I've ever had the opportunity to hunt on public land on a general tag. And uh, I saw him Saturday night when I got here and I have not been able to turn him up since. I don't know what to think, I'm seeing deer I just, I don't know. I, I know he was, when I seen him, he looked like he was about ready to rub. I don't know if he rubbed and, and moved spots. I, I don't know. On the way out last night in the dark, I found that little guy. This is actually the buck I videoed last year in the rain that we were gonna try to get Brinley to shoot the next day when she showed up, but we never seen him. But we did see that nice four point that she shot, so. Pretty cool to pick that shed up. Now if I can only find the sheds off the big deer that I'm trying to kill, and then kill him, so I can have a set of sheds and the antlers. But saw a lot of great deer. I saw two bucks that if it wasn't for my big deer, I would shoot, and one of them, I honestly could have. I had him at 60 yards, fed right up to me. Just a nice four point with a cheater. Probably pushing that 190 class. Just, you shoot those, you don't get to shoot the big ones. And when we, we know there's a, a giant, it, it's hard to hard to do that, so. I do have dedicated hunter, so I get to hunt the muzzle loader, the early rifle, and the late rifle. I just, uh, man, I've been gone from home so long now. Plus I gotta leave in the morning to go guide for 10 days, an elk hunter down south and then by the time I get back the muzzle loader is going to be started so I kind of wanted to go home and see my family but this deer is big enough we'll do what we got to do so I'm gonna get lunch going and uh, talk to you guys in a little bit I'll see you tonight okay one more thing to show you guys this has changed my coffee game majorly this is a Stanley French press mug and it is cooler than hell. I have been able to actually start buying ground coffee, grabbing my creamer, and I've been set. No more uh, tea bags and no more percolators like that one that, uh, well, I just don't care for it. But this bad boy, this is awesome. So I've got some coffee in there. All you do, well, the way I like to do it is I just pour this in, try to rinse some of my grounds out from my last cup. Put some nice hot boiling water in there. Stop it right about that line. And then I like, to, I like to let it sit there for a minute, kind of uh, get everything good and saturated. And then I throw the press in, I put the lid on, and 
voila, we got coffee. And uh, my burritos, my noodles are almost done here. My burrito's done. And uh, my fried spam. Mmm. If you guys haven't had that that way, you're missing out. So good. So that's going to go in the noodles, though. Even though I can sit here and just eat it all. Like this. Well guys, 2019 Utah archery hunt is over, it's done, man it, it, it ended rough for me, I, uh, I turned that down a little bit, there we go, um, yeah that sucked, I, uh, so I came down, I spent, I spent six days, six and a half days of the opener, um, hunting my buck. My first three days, I never found him. The last uh, three and a half days, found him. Every single day, just where he ended up going to bed and the way the wind was blowing, it just there was no stock. So I waited him out all day. Evening time came. By the time he would get up and out of his bed to, in, in a place that I could see him, it was almost dark every night and made it really tough to where there was just no spot in stock at night, no opportunity. Because he lives in a shithole and the wind for the most part of every day I was there except for the last two was blowing the complete uh, the complete wrong direction for everything. So um, I had to leave after the half day and took off to the strip and then I spent 15 days on, well, the half day, so 15, so I spent 16 days on the strip, straight. And then I made it back up here to where my deer's at and first, uh, I got up here Saturday afternoon, Park, set up camp, threw my pack on, got up on the hill, and Saturday night, that first Saturday night, just before dark, uh, I, I found him. He was there in the wide open. It hasn't been, doesn't look like anybody has been in here. Um, I got one douche that messed and jacked up one of my cameras and took my SD card, and he's got to be the dumbest person in the world because it's on a water catchment that he built on public land. And he drove his four-wheeler cross-country to do it, to haul all the material in. I've got video of the tracks. Um, but yeah, so I find this water catchment in an area I have been hunting for probably longer than this kid's been able to drive. Um, I've killed several deer out of this country. And uh, so he built a water catchment. Good on you, man. Uh, that's awesome. It's ambitious and it's on public land. So it can be used by anybody. So I found it, I, it was pretty much a couple yards down from where his bait site has been the past few years. Um, he decided to uproot his whole salt site down below, up just like I said, up the, up the canyon a little bit and move it into this water catchment. He's also got another bait site up on top of the hill above that 
and then he's got a camera on the pond. So, um, I also have cameras in there, and uh, I also have watched him almost every Sunday I've been there, go in, haul bait in, check his cameras, and leave. So, yeah, bro, you're not the only one in there. Um, and some of us have probably been there a lot longer than you. But, do your thing. It's public land. Just uh, don't fuck with my stuff. God! So, here's the deal. I want my video, I want my stuff back. I want you to get a hold of me. And I want you to apologize. Or I'm calling the sheriff for um, theft and um, vandalism. And then I'm calling Game & Fish for the ATV cross country and, and, and leaving debris and garbage on public land. Where you cut the fence the whole night. So, and that red four wheeler. I bet it'll look good in the back of one of their trucks. So. Anyways, now it is uh, early in the morning. We got up, same time we've been getting up, packed up the truck and camp, and we are heading down to Unit 8, Southern Arizona, to uh, guide an elk hunt. Pretty stoked, good year. Um, hopefully everything's getting into bugling and rotting. But I've got two, uh, two guys that kind of know what they're doing been a guide and uh, he's hunted a, a lot a lot of years and uh, he's from Colorado he's killed a lot of big elk so his bar is high he's bringing help as a call somebody to help call his best friend and uh, I'm just gonna sit back and learn and watch and video for you guys I'm pretty much gonna be a tour guide on this hunt which I'm all right with it's uh, It'll be a little different, a little change, so. And uh, there's a lot I want to learn from these guys. They're elk guys. As you know, I moved back to Idaho. I got a lot to uh, refresh and up on and uh, learn. And, and why not start with two guys that know what they're doing, so. This will ought to be a fun hunt. And then after that, it'll be somewhere around day 40, I don't know, 41. Hopefully I'll be on my way home to see my wife and kids that I miss very much. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait. So, here we go, guys. Another round. <laughs> 